Es una trampa. Intenta separarnos. Hi, Amberta. From a cartelera, Spain. Nice shirt. Nice Thank shirt. you so much. <laughs> so, Thais, Natalie, this time uh, the bad guy, Dante, played by Jason Momoa, splits up the family, so you guys have to go on a mission by yourself. How was that? I mean, it's always... Like, we always have a lot of fun together, like, no matter who we're working with, but it, it definitely was strange, like, being so separate from Vin and Michelle this time. I definitely felt their absence, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's it's uh, sort of... The, the situation sort of calls for us to separate, and I think it's really, like, a test for our characters to, you know, try grow and take up. charge and grow up. Without... Leave the nest. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I felt sure, good. Man. It's something I've been asking for for movies. Many, many movies I've been asking. Why we got to take your lead? Why we got to follow you? Why we got to do what you say? Just being a rebel. So I felt really good about finally being on our own mission. And I thought, you know, I thought what was interesting was it really, really felt like we were on our own mission. I thought it would be like we get to do a couple things, then we all link back up. They really kept us on our own mission for the majority of the movie. So I thought it was cool. I was going to ask you about that, Tyrese, because for your character, it's been like a great step up and evolution from the first movie. So uh, that was something that you wanted to do with yeah. your character? Yeah, I did. I wanted to uh, be my own thing and take our own. Because there's always... You know, there's nobody in the military that has the same job. Everybody does something different to win the, the, the mission. And that's it's like dude, we just running around like, where are we headed next, Dom? You know, that's how it started <laughs> feeling in my mind, uh, even though he's my brother. But I just I, I really felt like we could all accomplish this mission faster. We just kind of break it up. I think it's just like every single character, like you say, has a different job and we really are put to the test and get to really demonstrate it um, at some point throughout the last 10. So it was, it was good fun. So, yeah. Scott, we really need uh, for the Toretos to adopt you because, you know, <laughs> and be part of the family. That would be great because Adoption, some... Yeah. Weird <laughs> things are going on with the agency. <laughs> so... Yeah. Little nobody needs yeah. to take charge. He does. Mm. He does need to take Is charge. Is that something that you're hoping for? I think it'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> take a little detour, a little nobody. Mm. You know, yeah. Something. Sure. Good idea. <laughs> what can you tell me about the agency in this film? I think the agency is not what it seems. <laughs> ah! Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> it's not what it seems, as in we don't exist. Ha, ah, you can't go into no detail. You're trying to get some information out of us. Yeah, it's know. not happening, I can tell. <laughs> A secret world. Um, Tyrese, um, <laughs> do you think we need to... We need a proper send-off for Paul Walker's character, uh, Brian, in the next installment. Because we had, like, a really emotional scene in the seventh installment. But maybe we need uh, him to come back for the end? Mm, that's a very touchy question for you me. Know. Yeah. Um, I know. Yeah. I don't really... I'm not really thinking about what I feel about Paul's present or non-present in the film. I'm always thinking about the family, you know, because it's good to pay your respects and pay your homage, but I, you know, I just, I think the world know our brother is uh, transitioning into heaven, and I think uh, when you see him in the movies, it's kind of like, you know, uh, so yeah, I, I don't know, I think, Some of those decisions are way above my pay grade, but I think um, we all know that was a very unfortunate moment. Um, Scott knew Paul longer than all of us. 30 years, right? Yeah, so uh, 
It's uh, it was it was tough, and it's been tough. But we understand that there is a particular story to be told, and I don't write scripts, and I don't run the studio. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's tough sometimes to see that there's something something still going on with Paul's presence in the film for me. Yeah. Yeah, and and you guys are part of this family. And with all these technological advances, you know, you imagine they're going to think about doing something with the character because he's alive in this universe. Touchy, um, touchy, touchy. I know, I know. What is your mm, favorite uh, action scene from this one? Because we've uh, watched a lot, like, really crazy ones. In the previous installment, your character, Roman, went to space. So, what about uh, this one? <clears throat> Yeah, two hood ghetto guys going into <laughs> outer space. And I'm still trying to figure out when did we land? Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing a still, lot of fans are still, are still figuring that out. Unlimited fuel sources. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know, listen, I think there is a combination of a lot of charm dialogue, seriousness, happiness, family. I think I think I think the, the the creatives always try and figure out a way to check off all the boxes. I think if it's too much dialogue, you'll go to sleep. I think if it's too much action, it's just like, oh, that's too much. Let's get back to the character. So I think somewhere in their writing and editing process, they just try and they, their best to just entertain the fans. Because we know that there's so many movies and TV shows out here. We got to do something special to get the fans to come back and enjoy another round of Fast. So we're just very grateful to still be here after all these years. We are, too. <laughs> well said. Well uh, said. Thank you, sir. Where are we with the next installment? Do we know anything? No. Right <laughs> now we're in Rome. We haven't even done this one. <laughs> we'll be on the next one. Yeah, we have, we have no idea what's coming, but... They always got something interesting. They know how to keep it new. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I enjoyed very much this movie, so I had to ask about, about the next one. I'm ah, excited. Good, yes. <laughs> Ahí vienen. Nunca podrás acabar con mi familia.